yes, there has been a widening of the framework uh, when we look at the, the Canadian model of constitutional case, law, constitution, you know, the legislation, constitution case, and challenges where you, they widen the, the capacity or the eligibility and then lessen the, the safeguards, in my view, looking at it objectively. However, that, the question hasn't been put to the Irish Supreme Court as yet in a very direct way. So it may be that it's only a matter of time before there is a constitution case if we don't put in a framework. If the Supreme Court said that the, there was a requirement, then, then uh, the Parliament would have, have to act. Uh, the Supreme Court has not said that in, in, in Fleming. I think what, we see, what you see in, in, in the United Kingdom, uh, after Pretty and Purdy, you had the, the Nicholson case, and Nicholson said, uh, it, it, this is a really important uh, uh, topic, but it's not really for the courts, it's really for Parliament to consider. If Parliament doesn't consider it, we might step in, but it's for Parliament to consider. Um, that was in 2015. Later in 2015, Parliament did consider it and voted against it. And then when it came back to, 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 to the courts in Conway, they no longer said Parliament should act. They said, well, Parliament has considered this. So, so um, saying we should stick with the present uh, framework is an answer. It is a possible answer. And if the if the, the uh, if Parliament decides that's the answer, then the court will respect that that Parliament has considered it. That's the essential thing. Has considered it and thought this actually is the safest course, and that we as Parliament think that. Then this will be respected by uh, the courts. I think at least that's the evidence in in uh, in the United Kingdom.